they were going to make an internet media player for music and um, I just want to say if you look on internet on some tutorials you'll find a very simplistic approach you just creating a media player um, object inside your activity that handles everything will this uh, approach has some limitations for example you can't use it for background playing so if the user clicks home button and wants to do something else with the phone it uh, the music will stop also i added some extras like uh, notifications so I um, I added a few extras too, but uh, we will discuss them step by step. So, for in order to have background music play, we we will need a service, and uh, I I don't know how to write this. I when I uh, wrote this application, I did some digging, and after that I forgot how I did how I do it. So I'm just give you. I'm just going to give you the file and explain you little by little what you have to modify and you can use it just as a template I will use it as a template too so uh, let's just create a new project internet handles player okay and You just go to tutorials on my website and download the sources for it. And let's just copy paste everything for now. Let's start with the manifest. So, in our ma manifest, just make sure you modify the manifest with uh, your package name. And that other point before main activity for compatibility. So, besides the usual activity tabs, we add here a service like this. This service which is this file have to be de declared also in the manifest in the layout I just have two buttons and one takes you for the information okay so um, I'm in main activity now and uh, first thing I have to do I set the co volume control stream to stream music if you don't do like this if the user I is um, listening to music and tries to lower the volume or make the volume higher it will make the ringtone higher or, lo or lower okay next thing I, I get the info from the buttons and the text view then I, I declare an audio manager And then with a button play and pause for play I will if you just use play let's see if I how to explain this this is how you you start the service so if here here we have a service that gets parameter a URL that it needs to play after you get parameter and URL, it creates a notification to notify the user that uh, the app has launched. 
creates a media player, takes care of everything, handles errors. Also, wh when the music is paused, the music is resumed, stopped, on destroy, cancel the notification too. So th that's a, a really a lot of good stuff. What you have to remember is that it gets parameter URL. After that, it takes care of everything. Of course, you can customize the notification manager if you like. And if we call it like this directly, for one, two seconds until the music starts streaming, the user interface will block because we are, we are doing this work in in the front part of our app so to do a work in the background we will do something like called async task so i'm just co calling this async task with a parameter this url and in in async task we have uh, we have the most important doing background and on post execute and here in doing background you can do lots of heavy heavy work that you want in our case buffering for uh, for the ma for the mp3 file and we just transmit with an intent to to the music service on post execute we just notify the user that uh, the music is playing on on pre execute we just display a loading message. Also, extra. Here we listen if the phone starts ringing, and we click the we perform a pause button. After after the phone is uh, back, uh, the conversation is finished. We can uh, click the play button again. I I don't know to write this by heart. I just have it somewhere, I know I find it there and I just copy paste it. You don't need to learn this too. So I see no point in you learning how to code this service with binders and etc. Because this is really complicated stuff and if you if you already know where from where to get it and how to use it, you just it's easier. At least uh, this is my opinion. Unless you really want to get deep into it, and then you can you can read lots of pages of tutorials and uh, explanations. But but for now, I'm giving you this uh, template that you can use, and also I'm giving you homework, which is very important for you to do. If you watched all my tutorials on on list view you already know how to work with list view. so i want you to create a list view and uh, first of all gather some mp3 files free from internet for example i don't know if this one has more but for sure you can find them on internet free like symphonic music classical music and create let's say five five ten Ten files like this to have their uh, URL and put them in a list and with a stop button when you click the item on the list it will start playing when you click another item of the list it will play another song so uh, this will be your homework I expect you to, to work on it let's say one two hours until you get it done you you know if you watched all my tutorials you already know how to do it and this will help you a lot if you have uh, any problems or any questions you can just write in the comments so uh, this is my tutorial very fast tutorial on how to play music from internet feel free to use this template on whatever app you, you want to create and don't forget to the homework see you on the next one